Welcome to the Reno Running Company podcast. Um, I'm Joseph. And I'm Cayman. Uh, we're glad to see you. And we're going to be talking about things related to running and health and our communities. I think that does it. Uh, today we'll talk about some local races, our store runs a little bit, and just some little housekeeping things of what you can expect. I look forward to it. It's going to be awesome. Me too. I think we can roll that intro. So, Cayman, what should we expect? What are we going to be doing here? We're going to be talking about local running news, things that are important to the community that you and I are both a part of, um, from a very... Like we want it to be approachable and kind of natural. So it's not going to be super polished. I think that's okay. There's going to be some ums and some likes, but hopefully that's part of our part of the charm. Uh, we are scheduled for one podcast per month. We're going to do our best to stick to it. If we have a great time, which I expect us to have a great time, uh, we'll maybe do more. Um, one thing that you guys can really help us out with are topics. We all have topics that are important to Joseph and I. Mm -hmm. But it's different it's than true. what's important to you. So if there are things you want us to talk about, put them in the comments. It can be on this video. It can be on any of the other videos that we're going to be producing in the months to come. I just did our intro. It took me an hour for a five-minute video. <laughs> we're going to get faster. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> so I want to kind of talk about like our histories with Reno Running Company. We're two of our most senior employees at this point, I believe, right? It's yeah, true. Ten That's and, true. He's not lying to you. <laughs> it's 10 years, right? 10 or 11. Almost 11. Almost 11. Yeah. yeah. And then I've worked here for seven, going on seven now. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to talk about kind of like what your role has been in Reno Running Company? Sure. In the past decade? It feels <laughs> impressive to say. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, uh, I started in 2012, uh, sorry, uh, worked for almost 11 years, and... Uh, I started on the anniversary, and my first day at Reno Running Company, I held the door open, and there was a giant packet pickup that lasted my whole shift. Oh, my God. And all I did was hold open the door. <laughs> and I don't think any of the other employees even knew that I was a new employee. <laughs> I think they thought I was some volunteer from uh, the race organization that was there. <laughs> Do you remember what race was? Color me rad. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. happened to those guys? I don't I, see any of those events anymore. I actually don't know. I yeah. don't know. It seems like the color runs really like rose and then fell. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not. I really don't know what happened. Uh, I have a friend who actually went to Holy uh, Week in India, uh, which is where they got their inspiration, uh, and oh, that okay. sounded yeah, yeah. really cool. Um, I kind of wanted to put that on my list of things to do in the places to travel and see. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't know what happened to all those color roads. I still have a shirt, like a white, you know, they're most, they would intentionally make them mostly white yeah. so that so they would get all the like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they were, they were fun. Um, do, do you think that relay runs and races have taken the place of color runs as the like community <sighs> running event that is really approachable um i think i think i i'm not sure i know the answer to that question but i know relay races have gotten certainly gotten more popular and have you know they're fun uh they don't take as much training commitment even for people who want to go fast mm -hmm. not that everyone needs or should go fast but uh you know, so it's it's uh, relay races. It's fun to be with a team. Uh, the less, the lower training commitment can be good, and I think uh, they're they're just fun. Just as long as you get along with your team, it's like a good time. <laughs> yeah, it's not midnight on the second day. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I I've seen. I've not just heard. I've seen some horror. <laughs> shows <laughs> i think we'll but get, they're all we'll from people later, not getting right? on yeah i yeah, think that's part yeah, of one of our topics yeah, yeah um yeah. we'll save that yeah <clears throat> but anyways i've um you know i was a 
worked on the floor, still always do that, but. We'll do that today. Yeah, yeah, I'll do, I'll do that later today. <laughs> Come to Sparks so you can buy some shoes. Um, the, uh, did gait analysis for people, shoe fittings, um, and then I had started buying, did that for a long time. And right, and now I don't do that a lot, almost none. I won't Except say for your none. favorite brands. I, I occasionally step in to aid with some purchase <laughs> orders <laughs> regarded to zero shoes and maybe another brand or two. But um, yeah, now I'm a manager, I have been for a while at uh, the Spark store. And yeah, it's, uh, I'm sure I could say a lot more, but that's, it's been over a decade. So how about you? How long, what have you? So I've worked here, I started at the very end of 17, beginning of 18, which yeah, math checks out six going on seven years. Mm -hmm. Um, the nice salty hooligans era. It was Salty Hooligans era. Yeah, we had some great, great <laughs> troublemaker employees during that period. Um, Sparks was a very different store on some nights. Uh, that isn't to say it's a bad thing. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, but <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so I, I came in and moved pretty quickly into the community manager role, which is where most people have probably recognized me from. Um, so I put together a lot of our events. I was in charge of our run club. Uh, and over time, that's kind of moved more towards, well, it's evolved into my current position, which is marketing director for Reno Running Company. Um, I also do a little bit of race timing, which we'll talk about in depth when we talk about races later. Um, but my current role is as marketing director. Um, I like that I still get to see the community a lot. I still get to do the fun events. My favorite thing about the job is that, like, Whenever, whenever I see people in the community, it's always at like a high points in their in their running and in their mm -hmm. like. I guess I don't want to say that. Well, yeah, in their life, right? Like, nobody is signing up for a five k and going out there to not have fun. You know, like it's not a mile. Yeah. Everyone suffers in a mile, but like, you're out there to go out, <laughs> go do the lep leprechaun five k. You're dressed up in green. Like, it's, it's, it's a good, good time. time. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but my history is like not really as a runner i'm like very much a skier climber and somehow ended up in run industry mm -hmm. yeah my new development here though is like letting go of climbing it's been 17 years of it being my primary focus and mm. now that's gone it's a lot of opportunity to see what comes next it's my 30 year crisis i just turned 30 <laughs> um yeah i happy birthday thanks Sorry. belated thanks <laughs> <laughs> i think we're, you want to move on to our first like sure topic yeah let's... yeah let's talk about some local races um full disclosure when we talk about races we do own race 178 so yeah. well the same oh, the same owner owns us that owns them okay it's not yeah, like yeah. reno running company owns yeah that's fair race. that's fair there, so same what family. i'm saying is there is a like potential conflict of interest that i want to draw attention yeah. to um so yeah. race 178 puts on rto um journal jog is mm -hmm. coming back this year super exciting and leprechaun run. yeah Although I don't know, are any of those your favorite race? Uh, no. Cool. Although I have done all of those, and I like all of those races. Great. Uh, I guess we don't have to worry about it. I wasn't going to list one of those either. <laughs> it's not to say they're not great events. Um, the other organizations we work with are like Reno Races and Desert Sky. Um, mm -hmm. I personally work with them. They contract me to do timing for those events. Um, I don't think you have any anything to call out here. No, no. We do have, uh, we also have Ascent Runs. In oh, yeah, just Ascent south Runs. Of us. Yep. Uh, we don't have any uh, official partnership, but them. they're awesome. They are great. And they're local, so. Yeah, so let's just jump in. Like, what's your favorite local race? My favorite local race has got to be the Mattathon, which, speaking of Ascent Runs, which nice. I haven't done in a very long time. 
and is actually the course is slightly different. Um, so, but it was a race up and down Genoa Peak. Okay. I yeah. I uh, you know I did it the first year. You can you can look look me up. It was terrible. It was like a scratch worthy time. Like, shouldn't this guy get airlifted <laughs> off? <laughs> like, but there's not a lot of places to scratch in that race. Uh, it's just, you know, a big hill climb uh, up a mountain and back down. And it's in the trees for most of it, which come summertime is kind of a big deal to get elevation in trees. You're like, oh, no, most of my runs aren't this way. Uh, it's super pretty. It's obviously challenging, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah, and if you look me up, you'll see, like, no, really, he should have scratched. <laughs> but there, but there was no place. <laughs> yeah, but there was no place for me to, you're like, that guy finished? Oh, my gosh. I'm surprised they recorded that time. Uh, I was hurt after. <laughs> Just so we're clear, I hobbled for at least 10 miles. Not an exaggeration. Uh, but it was my, it was a really fun race despite my incredible amounts of pain. <laughs> I like the trails over there near yeah. near Genoa. Yeah, so that's it's, south of us uh, yeah, for anyone who's new to the area. Uh, we're in Sparks right now. Yep. Uh, and it's, what, a 45-minute drive south? Yeah, that's so, about, yeah, maybe a little, little bit more. Um, yeah. That's about what my commute is. So it's a lot closer to me. I live in Carson City, yeah. uh, which is, yeah. you know, 45 minutes south of here. It's another 10, 15 minutes past where I live to get to mm -hmm. the Genoa trails. But I actually was out there not too long ago. And even with all of the snow that we had this year and the crazy amount of runoff, the mm -hmm. trails were in pretty good shape. And nice. when it's 100 degrees in Reno, like those trails yeah. stay much cooler. So it's, yeah, a, it's a great place sure. to check out. There's yeah. a couple of good restaurants in that town too. Like oh, and Everyone talks about the bar. Genoa. The bar's fine. The Thirst Parlor. Whatever, the oldest Thirst Parlor. Oh, there. yeah. The, there's the oldest bar in yeah. not just northern Nevada, in Nevada. Okay, I yeah. think. Well, oldest continuously operating, I think, is probably the... <laughs> the tagline for it. And if we're wrong, feel free to tell us in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure somebody knows. Someone feels really strongly about yeah, it. Yeah, they have a real... I, uh, I would love it if there was an argument about which is the oldest. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can like, fire that up here. Yeah. Uh, my favorite little restaurant in that town, though, is the Pink House. Yeah. Which is that, like, the converted mm -hmm. little... Mm -hmm. Pink House? Yeah. They got some yeah. good food there. Um, I wish that their hours were a little better. Well, oh, right. Well, not, it's... Not better. Not better. More convenient for me. <laughs> <laughs> it is <laughs> in... They don't, they don't open early enough. It is in a tiny town. It, yeah. It, it kind yeah, of feels fair. like... Every, like we can drive there fairly quick, but, like, it's not that... It's not close to much. Yeah. You know? Um... Yeah, and so, anyways, that's my favorite race. Uh, Circling Kevin, back. Tammy, Bigley, uh, super great. They also do ascent physical therapy. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, if the race is painful enough, they can drum up business for themselves. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're super awesome. I really, I had, I had just a great time, even though my race was not even a race. It was, it was embarrassing. Those guys do a and lot of work volunteering for the other races in the area. Too. Oh my gosh, so like, much! They're a big part of um, TRT as well. Like, yeah, I saw them out and there Kevin, this year. Kevin is always, you know, pacing someone on some ultra. Yep. You know, he's like, oh, I don't have anything coming up, and then it's like, yeah, but you're running a 50k in the middle you run of the night. Percent with... of a 50k yeah. at 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess 50Ks probably don't run through the night. But. No, no. But he'll, you know, he might be running a 50K in the middle of a 100-mile race, yep. you know. Um, uh, anyway. Yeah. What's your favorite race? So, I don't get to run a lot of races. Because mm -hmm. typically, I, I time most of our local races or I'm involved in them in some way. So, like, mm -hmm. when those races, usually I'm working them. Um, so, from that perspective, my favorite race to be a part of mm -hmm. is Turkey Trot. Mm. I, I love that when we show up to Turkey Trot, we see new faces mm -hmm. that, like, I think of all of our local races, the Turkey Trot has the highest percentage of, like, new racers. New racers being people that, like, don't necessarily identify as, like, a runner. Like, if you ask them if they're a runner, they won't say, like, yes, 
I am a runner. Mm -hmm. That's my primary sport. Um, but there's a lot of people who show up to that race with their families and they're like, yeah, this is our Thanksgiving morning activity. We dress up, we do a little, a little wobble through downtown and then we go eat turkey. And I like, I people really, really love dress the, up as turkey. Yeah. <laughs> I love the laid back feel of that That's event, pretty... <laughs> even though I, I'm pretty sure it's our fastest 5k here in town. Oh, okay. Because all the, yeah. all the like, yeah, yeah. fast peeps come back home and they yeah. like yeah. rip a 14-minute 5K <laughs> and you're just like, where did you come from? <laughs> it was supposed to be a fun event. And yeah, yeah. Here we got like, world-class <laughs> times going on. We're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like looking at sometimes some years, the times at the Burning Man 50K, you're like, well, that's a lot faster than I was expecting yeah. for that event. <laughs> I had no idea they did a 50K out there. Yeah. This uh, Elliot. Hot. I don't know if we should be bringing up people's Let's names, see. but probably not. <laughs> a mysterious. We won't use yeah. Elliot. Um, I guess like I don't know. They'll be able to look up results. I imagine. If they really want yeah. To. It's public yeah. Knowledge. That's all right. Um, anyway. He certainly doesn't care. Yeah. That's about to happen. <laughs> He's yeah. fast. That's yeah. Right now or next week? It's always like the first week of U and R semester. It is, I do not know if they're setting up right now or if it's the people are arriving. I'm well, sorry. I mean, we'll know soon enough. Everyone's I am clearly not town. going. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen. Whole Foods will be wild. <laughs> it's, that's, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Every bike shop. <laughs> Every bike shop will be sold out. Yeah. <laughs> is, is weirdly booked for things. And in three <laughs> weeks, the uh, Reno Bike Project, it's a great place you guys should check it out we'll have an influx of very cheap used bikes <laughs> <laughs> some nicer than others yeah um, some you may not sure. want yeah yeah <clears throat> some may take three hours to clean <laughs> <laughs> um, okay Wait. but anyways <laughs> coming back to our local races um like has has your favorite race changed over the years um it definitely has i the first the first race i ever did was my favorite race for a while okay uh, and it was a road running 10k in alaska okay it was called the midnight sun run it was in fairbanks was it it was, it was at midnight when it was sunny in the summer you know no oh no that's, that's a real letdown it a, i think I it did <laughs> I think, I mean, some people finished at midnight. It did, like, it started at 10 p.m., I want to say. Hmm. You know, so if you were I guess walking it a bit more sense. slowly, yeah. you, <laughs> you, could, uh, you could maybe be there at midnight. But, yeah, it was a night race that, did, of course, didn't look like a night race because it was in Fairbanks in, like, I don't know, June or something. Yeah. So it was, like, the midnight sun yeah, season. Yeah, it was just daylight out and uh i think i think i just liked it because it was like the first real race i had ever done because i didn't race in high school i started running in elementary school but i was never on the cross country team didn't do track i went to a school then moved to a school that didn't even have track okay you know? um and uh and i ran the whole time <laughs> And constantly got asked to join the cross country team and was like, I don't, I don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> but then, but then I ended up when I ran the midnight sun run, I was like, Oh, this is, this is kind of fun. You know, maybe I should have said yes. <laughs> yeah. I totally should have <laughs> said yeah. I would have loved cross country. There's no question about it. I, I don't know about track, but, uh, I would have done it if I had done cross country and it was an option, but that a lot that's a lot of ifs and uh the past is gone it's true yeah it has, it has gone from us so yeah but that was my that was so different than the marathon i was gonna say you, you know you've really gone from one end of the so, spectrum to the other yeah that's so different um i think uh my second favorite race is another race from alaska that's also in fairbanks that is mostly trail and is a little uh road and oh, that's, so this is your segue race yeah right? that, this yeah. is what got you from the 10k yeah, to the yeah. marathon and it's still my second favorite race like mm -hmm. i would go back and do it uh and i've already done it i don't know three or five times or something but it's the equinox marathon 
That okay. was that was a has a special place for me, and I I just it's scenic, it's pretty. Um, you guys are really uh, all about the solstice and the equinox. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the light's a big deal, uh, and when you have extremes of it, you know that's uh, yeah. It's definitely that part of the calendar starts to affect when you do want to do things. So. You guys do like a darkness run in the winter when it's miserable out. <laughs> um, yeah. So the f I so actually now that you mentioned that. Uh, it wasn't timed, so I didn't count it, which is maybe not okay. fair. But the first race I actually ever did was 40 below out and dark in Fairbanks. Okay. And it didn't have a name. Did you have fun? No. Okay, I did. I mean, I was. <laughs> it was fun when it was done. Okay, I uh, too. But yeah, it was... It, that was, I guess, technically, it was still like a race, uh, just real low key and unofficial. And I, so I heard about it through the local running club, running club North up there. Mm -hmm. I have no shout out. I don't know if they're still going, but <laughs> think about now. <laughs> yeah, we can link you guys. <laughs> uh, but they, they had just, you know, they just had a five k, and it was. I couldn't believe there were still like 30 people that showed up to this thing. And I'm not joking when I say <laughs> it was bad. like 40 below and it was, it was like really February. Below. It was dark. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. How do you even crew like medical for that type of event? Oh, Alaska doesn't really, it's, it's, the whole state has a different vibe different. of uh, yeah. you're on your own. Help is not coming. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying that's entirely true, but uh, yeah, there are certain questions that don't even get asked, I think, or at least they didn't. Who knows? Who knows what it's like now? I haven't been there in a long time. So, you know, you talked about that running group in Alaska, you know, yeah. that like kind of sent me on a tangent. Sure. sure. Um, I really wish that there, and this may already exist, and if it doesn't exist, we should put it together for our area. Yeah. Um, some type of directory for local running groups. Mm. So if you travel to a new city, because that's yeah, yeah. That, like a lot of people yeah. vacation to Alaska in the summer when it's yeah. actually really nice out, especially yeah. when things have been so hot here and in mm -hmm. specifically in the Pacific Northwest, yeah. um, it would be cool to show up and just have a list of like, hey, this is a running group in Fairbanks that you can go hang out with while yeah. you're there, like join yeah. one of their group runs. Um, we should have one here. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. We have a, um, there is a calendar on our website. It's yeah. got some of our events not all of them but i would like it to be more flush with local runs and running group events yeah it would be i think it would be i think it would be fun to have the local events as long you know as long as it's okay with those organizations you know yeah um maybe it's a crowdsource yeah type of situation yeah, and it, it, I guess it, it's not like it needs to live on our website, but no, it, it just would anywhere. be good to... I'd be happy be, to link it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if it was somewhere else, we'd definitely link it. Yeah, and yeah, just so. <laughs> a, just have it be a community resource. Yeah. That'd be yeah, super yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Because we have the McKellar Group, Silver State Striders, yep. Tahoe Mountain Milers, a little farther out, Donner Party. Mountain Donner Party. Runners, yeah, those are all the major ones. Local store runs. Um, yeah. And we've had other groups that have been more and less active. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure we'll get new ones, <laughs> you know. Yeah, they pop up all the time. Yeah. So there's veterans groups that meet to run. Yeah, we wear blue. Yeah. We're yeah. going to have a lot of links in this Some podcast. moms. Our credits are going to be yeah. as long as the episode itself. <laughs> Check those out. Yeah. Um, I don't know that my... Has, has my favorite race changed? I'm trying to think. I haven't run too many races. Because it really... Well, like, that should make it easy from a running standpoint. Though. From a running standpoint, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed the cold turkey run that Kevin put on in Carson. I... Um, I guess that was two years ago. It was a 10K. I, I love the vibe of the race um, yeah. because it's it's really a, 
about the running. Like you're yeah. never going to show up to one of the ascent runs and be like, mm. I'm going to PR at my 5k <laughs> today. Cause your 5k may be seven miles. Uh, and it's like, it's just a matter of like, it's close enough, you know, like we're out for a trail run. <laughs> Saturday morning. If you're going to take this too serious, then, then you I, do you. But I hope you're the fast. rest of us are about to run a nine mile 10k. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's what it ended up being. Yeah, it was a good yeah. time. Weather dependent, right? <laughs> Weather dependent. Yeah, Course there might be a foot of snow. Of, yeah. Um, yeah, I really love those events. Oh man, the, I love all of those winter races. Yeah. That. Those what's your are, What's your favorite one? Uh, let's see. For, for reference, there's there's five. Yeah, right? there's there's. I'm five. not gonna try and name them. I'm one a month uh, during the winter here, you know, so or fall into winter. Yeah. Um, my favorite was. Oof. probably um you know the one that's over by prison hill mm -hmm. was that love can be cold i mean it's love can be cold uh is that the february one yeah yeah about i think day. one year i did that uh there was is that the one that starts with the by the archery range or you run by the archery range like in the first mile does that sound familiar Def, the, I mean, obviously, Prison Hill is east, east of Carson, uh, downtown Carson. But yeah. Um, uh, but anyways, uh, one year I did it. There was an ice storm, like that was happening okay. the day of the race, and <laughs> there was this. We and I so. Uh, I was doing the a lot of these races the you're 5K. describing don't sound like fun. <laughs> so uh, that's another that's another uh, conversation. But uh, there's uh, there was this climb, and it wasn't that long, but you had to go through the rocks, and they were literally all covered with ice. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, oh, like, I mean, I need crampons. To do, you know but i have running shoes so <laughs> made it through though it was fun it was a good time i do, liked it a lot do you Dri the drive home was the scariest part actually that part was not the <laughs> that oh, part was yeah, not yeah. the scariest yeah, part Valley's driving home was great, terrifying but, yeah <laughs> if there is there's a section i always drive pretty slow and bad but it's it's washington yeah. valley yeah like I've seen yeah it. If there's a snowstorm, I can almost guarantee there's a wreck somewhere on, oh my on gosh. Miami. Five, six of them. Some more yeah, it's crazy. Um, on traction devices. Yeah. Do you think that... Well, so, specifically Yak Tracks, right? Okay. Do you, How do you feel about them, and when do you use them? Um, because I have my opinions on them, and I think yeah. they might be a little different than yours. So... I, it depends on which ones we're talking about, right? So they make multiple models now. Yeah, so let's do let's do the the trail snow ones. Um, the the ones that look like the we'll we'll show you guys a photo of them. Um, okay. But they, they have actual <laughs> teeth on the bottom of the shoe. Okay. So they so just look like the, crampons without front points. They're not the ones with the yeah. um, little carbon by yeah, yeah. tips on them for yeah. specifically for ice. Yeah um they have the chains they typically have chains yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay and maybe a little bit of a plate to hold the teeth in place. yeah 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 um i i don't use those as much for running because they're not by the time they are appropriate i'm usually not running it doesn't mean i wouldn't use okay. them but they're get more into like a hiking situation in the winter yeah. um it's uh, it's less likely that i'll actually be able to run when i need that aggressive of a traction device um so the ones with the coils the original yeah. ones those i use all the time in the winter so i i kind of feel the same actually yeah where the the use case where like it's snowy out, you put on the really aggressive crampons for traction. I feel like 
in our area because it's so dry mm -hmm. we end up with a lot of faceting snow mm -hmm. um which is too soft for your crampons to work in anyway mm -hmm. or the sun hits it on pea vine or something and it's all you know wet and slush anyway mm -hmm. which the teeth on those crampons aren't big enough to penetrate down to the firm snow mm -hmm. um like my favorite time to use mm -hmm. those specific crampons is if is if there's a trail that's mostly shaded and it's got firm snow that you're not post holing through um, mm. So, like, a really good example of that is if you're going to run, um, like, Emerald Bay Trail head to Eagle Lake mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. in early season because that, that trail gets trafficked by, like, the millions and millions of tourists yeah. in early season before yeah. it's, like, really safe. Yeah. Um, but it ends up being, like, kind of icy, smooth, compact. Mm -hmm. So, in that situation, we have, like, compact snow. I really like those yeah. teeth, um, yeah. and I do like to run in them. but. I feel like they're really overkill 99% of the time. And yeah. like the traction that's on your shoe is typically like going to be okay. Yeah. You know, like it really hurts me. I guess I, I don't like the sound of the metal spikes on concrete, but like it oh, hurts me concrete? to see. Yeah. It hurts oh, me yeah. to see people run the roads with that when it's like the, the little carbide tips are just better. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I, uh, the carbide tips ones where they're coils in the back and carbide, uh, little, little bits, uh, in the front are definitely better on a cleared hard pack or actual icy road. Yeah. Uh, and they're runnable. Yes. Yes. Those super, what are they, are they called? The extreme, the Yak tracks extreme. They have extreme and then they have the traverse. Which I would categorize as very similar. Okay. Oh, and they have an, one called the Ascent. Um, they're all variations of the same crampon yeah. with the the spikes positioned differently on the yeah. shoes. Um, and then the original is called the Pro, and then there's the Run, is the one with the carbide tips. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think the Run has the coils in the back of the yeah. shoe. So yeah. it, it's a little bungee with... Yeah. A metal spring around it and yeah. in the front it's got the carbide tips yeah. the, the yeah. idea idea being that you need that little extra um penetration into the ice when mm -hmm. you're towing off mm -hmm. so they give you that yeah 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 i uh i like i mean there's a there's a time for all of them you know for sure there's a time for all of them uh i uh i like the coil ones the ones the original because they when you get to dirt you know uh, yeah. depending on how long they it is transition better it doesn't feel sound uh awkward mm -hmm. you know i can run i mean if it's gonna be more than a mile i'm probably not gonna keep them on yeah you know but like but i could and it wouldn't be as weird as you'd expect you know when you're running yeah. in those things um so if you have like we do you have a lot of that on the lower trails it depends on the year and the weather but a lot of that there's snow on this part and then there's dirt again and then there's snow and then you know like we get a lot of that variable condition mm -hmm. i feel like those ones uh work really well actually i mean nothing's amazing but they're way better than not having them it when you get like some snow and some especially if your shoes are kind of old and the traction's worn out yeah 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 this is really an out of season discussion i know i know get get excited guys winter will come back eventually <laughs> <laughs> you don't being, have to uh, don't have to stop running just because it's winter being a cold weather runner <laughs> yeah yeah i do oh man yeah, it's so is, hard for me to get out the, the door in the 70s right? yeah i guess you know this week's been nice it's been rainy but yeah, yeah. the previously lows in the 70s has been a little bit too hot <sighs> I, know, I know i know uh, all right, getting getting back on track. Yeah. Um, what do we have on our docket? We have like, what do you like about running racing? What do you not like about racing? Um, and store runs. You want to just jump to store runs? Um, I think we've gotten sidetracked on. Yeah. Enough. So we have store runs, mm -hmm. and there's one in Sparks on Saturday mornings at eight, and one in the South Store at the Summit. Yep. eight and sundays every week and then we also have the the hub run yes, yes. so we do a, a track workout starting from hub coffee on riverside it always starts promptly at 6 a.m yeah. um they do a warm-up to reno high school 
quick mm-hmm. little track workout, and then it's done by seven, um, so that people can get to work. I think that's one of our mm-hmm. most popular runs. Mm-hmm. That is like a little intimidating for a lot of runners, but mm-hmm. the well, I mean, it's a track workout. It sounds yeah. like everyone's running fast, but in reality, um, it's a really approachable run so long as you oh. can, you know, be up and ready at six a.m. <laughs> <laughs> more challenging yeah, that is probably <laughs> more of an issue are. yeah uh, that would be more of an issue for me yeah i would say i think that's like maybe harder than the run itself uh, depending on the workout. Yeah. yeah yeah the warm-up helps though as long as i get there early enough like to mm-hmm. park at the hub and not at reno high yeah and i mean because i like so... to run over there yeah which is and, what most people and do. then run back uh so that i have a warm-up and cool down like no matter what but anyone who goes regularly can attest to the fact that i almost never go because i am the opposite of a morning person <laughs> yeah I, I think i think anyone who knows me would would realize that real quick some people park just at reno high school mm-hmm. as well though so they if, they, if they need to get out of there sooner mm-hmm. um that mm-hmm. way they don't have to run you know the, i think it's like a mile and change Ish, back, to, yeah, yeah. back to hub coffee they can just yeah. go straight from the track yeah. Uh, yeah but one thing we don't have that we haven't done in the past but is not currently running right now is an eclipse run uh, that's true um there's a couple of reasons for that one is that we don't have a great time to host it that doesn't mm-hmm. conflict with one of our other runs mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. evening runs have been popular we did a like thursday night run down mm-hmm. to virginia lake kind of consistently mm-hmm. that saw okay turnout um, yeah but if like i guess this is where we ask for your feedback on when what time and place from eclipse make makes sense to to you guys like when when can we schedule a weekly run that mm-hmm. will like work for everyone yeah um because right now it seems like Thursday night isn't isn't great on like one on the staff side, two on the runner side. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't know. Maybe it's a lunch run. Oh wow, we've never done that. Yeah, we've never tried a midday run. But, but why not? We like, could totally do that. Yeah, I don't know how many people are off on like a Monday Monday at noon. <laughs> I don't know either. That's uh, that's a great question. Well, we could get sandwiches yeah. or something. Yeah, something that'd yeah. be a good idea um yeah so if you have any thoughts feel free to leave them in the comments or just reach out to us directly of course yeah that always works i like comments uh yeah comments are great because then other people can comment on your comments Mm -hmm. you know yeah which sometimes people won't say anything but if they see someone else saying it they'll be like oh wait i'm not the only one they can jump on the back yeah 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 (laughs) (laughs) which is okay which is okay not everyone needs to be a starter, you know, <laughs> you know, but for you starters, <laughs> now's, now's the time. Now's the time. <laughs> um, yeah. Outro time. Yeah, it Let's is. It. So we got reminders because we're, we're going to do this right. Yeah. Got to visit our blog. Mm-hmm. It'll be linked. Um, Please do. That is Joseph and I's project. We've been working on it for a while now and we're getting yeah. some good content in. Yeah. Um, subscribe to our channel. Mm-hmm. brand spanking new there's gonna be lots of great content mm-hmm. we look forward to this podcast every month yep. um join a store run see us in person joseph is here every saturday 8 a.m ready to serve some coffee and there's always coffee and snacks we didn't mention that for some reason afterwards there's always coffee and snacks so yeah. if you come so, saturday or sunday you can go for a walk yeah you can walk you don't we you don't have to be a runner <clears throat> and um, last reminder cover some topics you don't want to see us talk about yeah thanks for sticking with us we'll see you again next time